Next, we're checking in with famed interior designer Catherine Ireland. In her latest book, Inspired By, she shows journeys she has taken around the world and the places and people that inspire her creativity. Catherine Ireland has designed everything from hotels to houses for the Hollywood elite. Now Catherine invites us into her own Santa Monica home. Let's join her for a tour. Hi, I'm Catherine Ireland. Welcome to my home in Santa Monica. Come with me inside. I'd like to show you some of the things that have really inspired me. Here we are in my living room. I like to surround myself by my most favorite things. I brought a few pieces from my home country. This plant center is something that you see a lot of in the English countryside. What I think is so genius about it is it's great extra seating. If I'm entertaining a mat and I have a lot of people over, we can squeeze three or four people on each part of the bench. And when the boys were growing up, I've got three boys, I started collecting for them great iconic photographs and drawings of sports characters. Here you've got Babe Ruth, and over there you've got a very young Muhammad Ali. I just thought it was a nice touch because I didn't want my boys to feel that they were in too feminine an environment. Here I've got an award I got for being best new mother. A home isn't a real home unless there are a few little bits of bad taste and that I would say is a good piece of bad taste right there. This is my most favorite room, the kitchen. The thing about kitchens to me is that they should look like just another room in the house. Get rid of those overhead cabinets, have some simple shelving and display everything you have. If you don't see it, how do you know you've got it? and adding some touches of color in the plates. This wonderful Bauer pottery, which is actually a reproduction that they make here right in LA. I love that. And I've got some of my most favorite pieces in this room. Pictures of my children when they were little babushks, and then I've got them at various ages. And I also have one of my favorite pieces of artwork here. If you have something and you think, oh, this is very important, it needs to go above the mantelpiece in the living room, think again. Put it where it fits in best. Even when there are a lot of people, it's a big party or it's just two or three people, we're all in the kitchen. When I come upstairs and I shut the door, I feel this really truly is my sacred space. You wanna go to sleep and unwind at the end of the day with more soft, more muted tones. I like throw pillows, particularly in the bedroom because they are pure decoration and they're things that you can change depending on the season. This is where I feel like I'm a princess. I like getting into bed with a canopy that surrounds and I'm so happy I get to come here every night to unwind. Thank you so much for our visit. This was fun. I hope you two get some inspiration and remember this, don't be afraid of colour and lots of it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.